Welcome back to another DeBerti Ranch bar update. Today is the day we finish the bar 100% and there's a lot to be done. <laughs> so this might take a few days, but let's get in here and let's get this place all done. doing his yard so let's just see what his little reaction is hurry up brad the truck's almost here it is gonna pour some concrete today or what yeah i got a bugger has some news for you what they cancel concrete stop yeah for real shut up show them whatever the i'm not no. show them the text no they cancel 730 i can't read spanish i'll translate it for you Concrete's canceled today. Whatever. No, I swear, it's all jokes aside. So now we gotta I'm wait till tomorrow at 7.30. They just call and say they don't have no trucks available. Sonny, did you plan this? Nah, I was hoping to help. But... All right, so Pops and I, we got all the games set up. We got two dart boards over here. My dad put this here, it's not staying here, because that would instantly, <laughs> instantly get blown up. My dad's all, it's perfect, I'm like, no. But I want to show you guys some of the things that's happened. I ran all LED lights behind all the drinks. The shelves look good, dude. Doesn't that look good? Oh, yeah. that's right. I haven't even seen it. That's right. My dad and I, we've been after hours. We didn't show you guys every little thing because it's kind of boring in a way. What's most exciting today is we're going to get to it, the countertops. We're going to do a full DIY style and pour the countertops, but here's here's the the kind of crazy part. We're not concrete guys at all. And in fact, we have one of our uh, concrete buddies helping us that's help. What is happening? Hold on, I don't want to interrupt you, but this is the color we're gonna pour into the truck. We got a whole concrete truck. We have so much countertop space. We ran all the numbers on labor, on mixing the concrete versus just getting a truck. And it was actually cheaper and, and I think it's gonna be a lot better for us just to get the truck and it's fully poured and well, we don't have to worry we, about. We, we could take all the concrete and mix all of the color in so every counter is gonna be the same exact color because I don't know, from my experience before, if you take a wheelbarrow and we mix five cups in, it still might look different. You know, we lay half of this and then we come in and we lay another half, we'd see two different colors. But So this way, this is going in the truck. And what that is, just so you guys know, is we're actually putting a color into the concrete. So it's not going to just be like your traditional gray concrete. We wanted like a dark brown to kind of match like the cabinets and different things. I personally don't know how it's going to look. That, that was the first sample I've seen. But whatever we do in here is going to be awesome. So the concrete truck's about to get here. Everything else is getting pretty dialed in. We finally, you know, clean the counters and it's, it's looking like a full bar. Oh, one thing that I... I forgot to show, tell you guys before the concrete gets here. My dad and I made this light. So it, it came on a, a fixture that was probably that big and it, it, it uh, like all of them were super close together to hang over a table. So we cut all the wires out. We got a big old piece of C-channel that was 18 foot long and we drilled holes and I had to solder and wire every single one of the wires. But it, we, we made this cool long light that kind of matches the bar. Uh, this light, if you were to buy online, I guarantee you something this big and long, this would be a thousand dollar light. We're in at like $152. So it's, that, that's kind of one of those things. It, it was kind of cool making. All right, well, the guys are out there right now. So the truck is literally going to pull up anytime. We're bringing an entire truck in here to pour the counters. It's going to be a little wild. So what concrete do we have? What uh, is now it? we're using a uh, 3500 PSI, uh, one quarter rock mix. Yeah, that so way it's we, real thin. We, yeah, a small rock, that way we can, we're very good because we only have two inch, two inch and a half thickness. Yeah. So that's be perfect for for that type of countertop. And then you did, I see you have mesh in there. It's like one by yeah, one mesh. Yeah, that's going to just help you know, a little bit. Hold keep it all together. Yeah, keep everything together. All right, our concrete truck's here, boys. Yeah, 
the only way concrete will dry obviously if it gets dry but as long as you keep concrete moving it always stays liquefied so what, what we're about to do is this is all the color we're gonna add the color right now to all the mix in there I'm, I'm just kind of nervous I don't know like what color is gonna come out hey let's get up there and show the audience what the inside of this mixer looks like no one's seen the inside of a mixing truck they just see it going down the road and spinning so okay. when it's spinning backwards it stays in there when they go forward the concrete comes out so let's go check it out We'll turn it on. Okay. Yeah, it good. <laughs> All right, so this is, we're gonna add the color in here. What the back? Wait, what? Wait, leave the back? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> he told me to. You put the bag in there. He told me to. Come on, bro. Bro. What? Yeah. He told me to. The bag in there. You don't throw the bag in there. You the bag in. Are you serious? Yeah. No, we took Stop. <laughs> Are you guys messing with me? My dad was legit mad. I was legit scared. <laughs> I'm nervous now. You don't throw the whole bag in there. He told me to. He's got to get the bag out. He's got, well, why did you throw? Why did you tell me to throw the bag in there? Oh my gosh. Way to go, Wilbert. Way to go. My kid, he was drinking. When you went to the restroom, were you drinking out of the toilet bowl or the tank? You gotta drink out of the tank. He meant throw everything in the bag in there. He said, just rip the bag and throw the whole thing in. <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh my God, I cannot believe you threw the whole bag in there. So, to Brad's defense, he did ask you three times. Oh, and you say open the bag and throw it in and Brad goes the whole thing and you said yes yeah the whole and then he goes the whole thing and you said yes so he <laughs> threw the whole bag in yeah but that's why he just put it on the on the bag of the truck and we just open it and yeah it spray, but well, we good. shouldn't have Brad do nothing like that no more nah, you, I don't know. you're thinking something and he's thinking something different no nah, we're good yeah that <laughs> sometimes he acts like his mom that was a mom thing that wasn't a dad you know when he acts like me that's a lot different if you check the top of the, the bag you say bag don't default. Check the, <laughs> check the bag. Bag will not dissolve. <laughs> That's your guys' fault. No time. If anyone needs any color in there, just let me know I can throw a bag in. I'm excited to see the color. So that was two bags, and what color was that? Two bags and a quarter. But, but right now you're gonna see like a, you know, the color on the wet mix. After we put it in, and after it start drying, you start feeling more the color. But after we apply the the final process, the filler, okay. the color is gonna all pop. Okay. No, no way! Now Look talking. at that. We're part of the crew. <laughs> oh, here we go. Dad, what are you doing? Oh. First one in. Yeah, we starting here. Over. Other side. We already, my dad already poured it in the wrong spot. <laughs> as fine as possible by hand and like we don't want it like like smooth like the floor because the floor looks good smooth but this is more like like it's like a manly kind of like feeling in here like western so we want it to be like not like exactly perfect but we also want it like as smooth as possible that way if you set like a glass of water on there or whatever it's 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 still pretty sturdy and, and level obviously so uh, we'll let we'll let Wilbur that's where Wilbur kind of comes in he has so much experience with concrete. He's the one that poured all the concrete in the whole shop. And uh, I, I figured that he would be the best person to help my dad and I do this today, just with his expertise. Hey, Wilbur, I found a concrete beetle. I came out of the concrete oh, truck. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have about a half a yard waste 
out of the truck. One thing we've been needing to do for our cows is uh, do a concrete platform to set the water, what they drink out of on. So we're just gonna build a quick little platform, put it over there. That way when the concrete truck's all done, he could at least just pour it in there. And that way we have zero waste because obviously concrete is expensive per yard and we don't want to have any waste. So hopefully there's enough in that truck to fill up this. Uh, we're kind of like doing two things at once, but at least it gets our cows kind of set up and, and we're getting everything dialed in as we go. So let me and Pops make this real quick and then we'll get back to countertops. See, what we have to keep doing is leveling it out, letting it dry, leveling it out, letting it dry. But ideally and hopefully all the concrete kind of comes off the metal right here. But all in all, this has been a great process. It just, it looks complete. Man. Yeah. And the brown turned out good. What we're gonna do at this point is because it's taking a long time. This is gonna take hours to dry because normally what you have with when you pour concrete like on the floor, as the moisture actually escapes the, the concrete and goes into the dirt. Well, now the, there's no moisture to escape. So it all keeps coming to the top of the concrete. So it's, it's taken a long time and it's gonna take a lot longer time than your typical concrete job for a foundation. So let's, let's just let this kind of here and we'll keep just going back and forth. There's really not much that's gonna change. And let me show you guys what it looks like with the final product with all the, the, the top layer on and just when it's all dialed on. So this has been such a process for my dad and I. He's, uh, he's actually taught me a lot surprisingly for the first time. Was... Well, it's little stuff. It's <laughs> it's like what I've learned from him. D I D I Y. Okay. You always You're say D I Y. You always, he always says D Y I. All right. Yeah, so you got it. But the cool thing is for everybody out there watching, we took a bunch of junk really. I mean, I literally almost every part of this was made out of something that wasn't being used or something that was old. Something that was even, on sale. You know, even getting right down to, you know, doing a couple little burning, you know, why would you burn that and paint this black? It's just, when you look through here, there's so many things going on that your eyes just keep bouncing back and forth. But the fun thing for me and Brad is to build stuff, just to create things, do, you know, do it yourself. What can we make out of nothing? And literally this whole bar looks like, oh my God, you guys spent a lot of money. We didn't spend that much money on this no. bar because we built everything and, yeah. and we just skinned it to make it look like it was really nice. So I guess let's just finish up and just show a few detail things. Yeah, we're, right? gonna, we're gonna walk in, but I do wanna let you guys know, you probably watched us enjoy this place for the 4th of July. We had to finally just sit, take a break and, and just enjoy this place. We, we put so much blood, sweat and tears into it and we finally enjoyed it. So the concrete countertops are done. All the exterior inside of here is all done. All the little, you know, we set up games. We're gonna get into all this and kind of show you guys. So the countertops, obviously you guys watched us bring the concrete trucks and look at, it. it's got like a, it's almost like a satin kind of sheen, almost gloss, but it turned out so good. Wilbur and the guys that helped us, it just, it, it, it just really, it turned out exactly, actually better than what we were thinking. All the, um, spots to hold all the different drinks. And again, th this is set up to be a bar, it's set up to be an entertainment center, but 99% of the time, because we're not like heavy drinkers, we're just, we're eating in here cooking. So that's that's where this kind of comes in place where my dad's set up with, with just everything. And we've already started to use it. Uh, we actually went with two microwaves for those that are wondering, uh, because this was way cheaper to do two microwaves than to get one huge uh, hood that actually sucks up all the fumes. So we found we found some high output uh, fans in, in the microwaves, and so that's why we have two, but it's actually been nice, huh? Yeah, well it was 300 bucks versus actually the, the 60 inch hood is almost $2,000. Yeah. And so we got these on sale. These were like 40% off. Yeah. The most expensive thing in here is probably this. This was yes. expensive, but my dad, for as much cooking that we're gonna do out at the ranch when family and friends are here, this is something we're, we needed to have nice that we're going to use. Oh, check these out. We got these off of Amazon. Uh, you're wondering why that just pull out? Because we had to make these solid drawers. I haven't glued those in yet. <laughs> this dishwasher, it was dented. I, we found it on sale. What was it, 200 bucks? Okay, this is a $700 dishwasher. I know. 700 bucks. And it was dented, but we Brad took the whole skin off, redid it. Then we painted it black. Then we took brown spray paint like from here and went ch -ch 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 -ch, and made it look 
Oh, we still got to fix up our fridge. You can see the two dents here. It's because this was on sale too. This was 700 bucks, I think it was. 7.99. Yeah, so 700 bucks. Normally it's like 20. 600 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it was way up there. We still gotta mess with this. We still have little things to do. But what I love is all the like the cool games. Like we got we got Hook 21. This was a hit at 4th of July. This was like stacked. I'll probably nail this first. Oh, Photoshop that. Ready? Ready? Oh! Anyway, let's keep going. One thing we did not document, which I'm gonna have my dad 100% take over right now. Is my dad built this entire stair railing and it is impressive. So dad, go ahead, explain what you did. Well, I was looking online for rope and we bought rope because we were going to hang it and put lights off it. But then Brad found another. So then I thought, well, maybe, maybe we could do like a rope railing. And then I found that three inch rope. So this whole three inch rope, I think was 112 bucks. So we're not even in the staircase, but about maybe $300 for the whole. And a lot of work though. Yeah, I mean, but, the, I mean look, we built all this. this. And, you know, it's just something different, right? I mean, who has a staircase like that? It's being creative. Darts were a hit. This is where I lose every time. Yeah, actually last time, look, Miller actually lost right there. His no, actually so I got all the stars. Man. Hey, this is from my old days. So I used to make exhaust tips. So all these are exhaust tips for cars back, I guess, 20 years ago. So I just made bar stools out of them. Back here is all the, uh, just fridges for different things. This is the Diverti Cup that I, I still hold the championship with and I'll probably continue. <laughs> you um, don't hold the championship, I hold it. I do. No, <laughs> I hold the champ. Anyway, it's just, it's pretty cool. Oh, we put, this was a hit too. If you get over a, uh, like say like a $10, $15 tip with a bartender, <laughs> that was kind of fun. Anyway, that is the finishing. I'm just glad to finally put an end to this man cave bar. I think for my dad and I, this is the coolest place that we've ever built. And it's, it wasn't a car, it wasn't a vehicle, it wasn't us having a competition, but it was us working together and it was us having a good time building something that we're gonna enjoy for the rest. Uh, you know, as long as we have the Diverti Ranch, which is probably gonna be the rest of our life, and all the people that get to enjoy it too. Well, I think that's it. At this point, I'm probably gonna go play my dad in darts and win again, and probably at checkers. So you guys have a blessed day. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you learned anything about this video, maybe put the most unique thing you learned in the comments. And uh, you know, it's if we could do something else, down the line that's kind of you know like this and maybe on the other side of the shop we'll include you guys too have a blessed day later